Hi, my name is Connor. I live in Maine, and I'm a registered independent with some conservative biases here and there. Anyway, I will admit that I voted for Donald Trump in the 2016 election because I kind of felt like there were no better candidates at that time. I certainly won't vote for the Clintons any in any given situation. I don't like them. And I was hoping he would help work with the problems with NAFTA, that he would bring back our jobs, that he would make this country kind of a raging bull that nobody would dare mess with. I will admit that I did kind of buy into a bit of the hype of the whole Make America Great Again kind of thing. Not entirely, but to the point where I was kind of like, all right, let's see where this goes. And over the past couple of years, I was able to look past his many, many flaws because at the point, you know, our country was doing fine until this year. With a slew of all sorts of things he's done, everything from obnoxiously bragging about winning the impeachment to the coronavirus pandemic to the death of George Floyd and his response to that, I don't want him in office anymore. He resembles more of a of an obnoxious sociopath than he does an actual president, an actual leader that we can get behind. I'm fearful for my country. I don't want it to become a fascist state. Personally speaking, I don't have much hopes for Joe Biden either. Every time I see him, he just kind of comes off as a malfunctioning robot. But at this point, I'll take anybody over him. I don't want him in office anymore. And that's that. Anyway, I hope our country will live on. I really do, because I'm fearful for its future if he continues to be in office.